Alrighty, everyone. Wow, that wind's picking up. Let me put the hand behind the camera. Hopefully that helps out a little bit. Well, it's trash picking day once again. It poured like two hours ago. There was hail. You can see there's kind of like a mud pit over there. Sidewalk's all dried up, but you got a little bit of puddling on the ground. Uh, it was crazy. Hail, hail, hail. Checking if there's any even hail damage. You can see it might not nah, just drop some water. It wasn't too crazy, but it was hailing. Uh, today's trash picking day once again. Let's get out there and try and make it a fun one. I know this town is no longer doing bulk pickup right now due to circumstances, but we're still going to try and make it a fun one and still try and find some treasure. So, what do you say? Let's get out there, let's find some treasure. Let's do it. See what we got in the first town, first stop. Looks like we got a good old exercise on bike. This is probably it was uh, an umbrella, probably for a uh, patio set. Let's see how strong I feel lifting this thing up. Oh, got one more piece. Nice small piece of aluminum. Always use this is definitely going to be scrap. I mean, it's missing things, it's rusted out. Growing up, my neighbor had one of these, and it's like literally the only thing I remember from ever like seeing my one neighbor is this bike. Oh, a nice old kerosene heater. When the world's about to end, this generally is your friend, I think. Maybe. I gotta take that out. First propane grill. First propane grill it looks like that we've grabbed during this whole craziness. Uh, if you guys are wondering like where stuff ends up going, like you're watching my video, you're like, hey, whatever happened to that? It was just in the video in the previous clip. This is from two different days. So it's not just one day of picking. It's actually two completely different days in weather also. It's kind of cold today. Um, and I do that because I don't want to release like a three minute video. Now, whatever we, whatever we find today, in this video, or whatever I find today that I put in this video is just what this video is gonna be. So if this is the only thing I find, then we're just having two or three stops. And if you guys are wondering, that kerosene thing leaked, and this whole thing right here is, is lifted, so I don't know. I don't know shelves for the warehouse most likely not for the warehouse <laughs> talk a lot about this just uh there's no space on this you know there's no space in these small ones need the industrial size Man, this takes up a lot of room This is where I found the fishing poles last week. Oh, it's broken. That's not gonna work. All right. So I touched base on this probably about a year ago. This house right here, uh, 
and she was moving she planned on moving i think to florida i don't know if it's the same owner or whatever um but she posted something on facebook this was in my earlier days of buying and selling she posted on facebook i don't know seven years ago five years ago about moving out and she's getting rid of everything in the garage i came over and i was really excited because i think i made like 50 or 80 bucks off all the stuff <laughs> it was just like i don't know i put a lot of effort into it just weird i remember certain things uh these people on the right usually throw away a bunch i picked out a couple web chairs from them they do not have anything out they have what looked like just a tire Um, I was thinking that last stop with that cooler, I haven't found a cooler in a really long time. The fact there was water in there might have meant that there was ice in there, but the fact that it just rained, it might be leaking. So, it might be cracked or something. I didn't really observe it too much when I lifted it. It didn't have the right odor as well as, you know, it wasn't exactly, exactly complete. So we'll make do with that. Not much over here. You got a couple garbage bags down that way. Fresh picking day B without a lamp. Missing pretty much everything about the lamp. Such as the light bulb. Such as whatever I dropped. Would suck for somebody to run over that, you know? Gotta be a little courteous out here. I try to be very cur cur courteous. Of whatever I do, I think there's a very bad persona over scrappers. The other day, actually, the other day when I went scrapping, uh, I came across another scrapper, and he told me he uh, he only picks up small motor stuff. It looked like in the back of his van he had a ton of metal, but everything had a motor on it. And I actually picked up a weed whacker. I was going to include that into this clip, but I ended up just giving it away. So we got a slight pickup here. Intel. Pays to know people. I greatly appreciate this. really heavy. It's all copper. This is, speaking of a large air conditioner, just like I grabbed, this is where I grabbed probably the world's largest air conditioner. Wow, look at all this wire. Snipped and everything. Probably signifies it doesn't work and not to try it. That's probably like two bucks worth, two, three bucks worth of scrap. This is an interesting array of stuff. Oh, wrong door. I'm looking at it, it's like nothing. Checkers, missing all the checkers. What am I gonna do with that? Oh, I should probably take that glass piece. This is kind of nicer than I thought. 
put that back. Put that in the box. Also saw, like it's all like. Why they all have insane price tags on us like this says 35 bucks playing the odds playing the odds I feel like we've been grabbing a couple of these pretty soon we'll be able to talk to aliens with our mouth satellite dishes I have dishes TV dishes, cable dishes, hit the like button dishes, who knows? Alrighty everyone, well, that's it. That is trash picking, but it was still a good one. Always is a good one, always a blast. Don't know what this whole antique thing was at the end, but I grabbed the tinted glass as well as this rolling rack. It has seen far better days. Far better days. I don't know what this is. It was three dollars and seventy-five cents. It was a tin. So yeah, like, why is this glass right here? Verly. Thirty-five bucks. That's what the price on that was. A lot of the plates there, like there, I don't know. I flipped over like one or two. I thought maybe this was uh, not a high C. Lalique. Lalique. Is that the right word, Lalique? I don't know. I don't think it is a Lalique. I probably shouldn't just leave it there. I'll lay that here. Cause I'll probably what I do is I end up taking all this stuff out usually. Be, well, before next trash picking video, I will have to. Um, Dave, subscriber to the channel, appreciate it. Appreciate it, man, for dropping off, leaving me all this copper. That's awesome. I uh, greatly appreciate all the support everyone's left me on the channel as well as people have definitely donated me things and given me the opportunity to continue to do these videos so dave greatly appreciate all the metal uh he also dropped off this ginormous air conditioner which i don't think i'll make another video of taking them apart but <laughs> i might take this apart because we have a lot of time on our hands right now or i guess i really don't have anything else really to do so i guess i might take it apart but i probably won't record it or I'll include it into a daily video uh, lots of good finds as well. I greatly appreciate all the support, everyone. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and smack the like button. Subscribe down below for more trash picking adventures just like this. I know bulk pickup is uh, not being picked up right now, so that might be good. That might be bad. We don't know. We'll see what happens in the future, and make sure to subscribe to see those videos. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed If you did, smack the like button. Catch you guys next time. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. P -p Peace.